Welcome to Beth Page State Park in Farmingdale, New York, home to one of America's most testing layouts, the famed Beth Page Black. One of five courses in the park, it was built as part of the Depression era public works projects in the early 1930s. Designed by legendary architect A.W. Tillinghast, it was a worthy addition to New York's world class courses. It was carved out of woodlands. Uh, the terrain is very undulating and it's all natural. Uh, Tilly has didn't move a lot of earth when he built this golf course. Uh, we've got something very special here and people come from all over the world to play here. Beth Page Black already has an impressive tournament resume. In 2002, it became the first publicly owned and operated course to host the US Open. It returned in 2009, and the PGA Championship and the Ryder Cup are coming in the next decade. And that's just fine by the players. When I first got there and I saw how the first hole was, I looked at that sign. I was like, ooh, okay. Well, I mean, is this just kind of one of those signs that is you know, supposed to be intimidating or is it actually a tough golf course? And, you know, getting out there and playing it, it, it will bring out every little weakness you have in your golf game. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a tough track, it's, it's decently long, it's got some gnarly rough in spots, so you definitely want to keep the ball in play, in the runway. It's long, it's very difficult, um, and I would say that it gives you uh, some awkward angles, that's the best way I could say. So if, if you go out to a lot of the holes, Rarely is the fairway straight out in front of you. It's always twisting to an angle or you're hitting a, I feel like I'm hitting across the fairway a lot rather than down the fairway. It's, it's amazing tee to green, that golf course just, just is, it's, it's so right in front of you, but yet you just have to execute the golf shots. You know, it's a perfect US Open venue. Tee to green, there's not much harder than uh, the Beth Page Black. The course has one of the highest slope ratings in America's Northeast, meaning it also represents a very testing physical challenge for the players, especially in the hot New York summers. And once you negotiate the tee shots and difficult approaches, you then face a set of smallish greens that are deceptively tough. If you actually cut the ball on some of the greens, you will see the undulation that they do have when you're just walking up to them, they look as though they're kind of flattish, but we can put the pins in certain places where that ball will break six, eight, ten inches. Even if you hit good drives and good iron shots, you leave yourself 30 feet on that golf course. Those aren't easy putts. I mean, there's so much slope, they're so quick. For anyone who strays offline, the penalties are quite severe, to say the least. The designer of other major championship courses like Bolter's Roll and Winged Foot, Tillinghast is renowned for his artistically sculpted bunkers, and Beth Page Black is no different. If you go to any, any Tillinghast uh, design golf course, you will see bunkering you know, which is massive, number one, which uh, is kind of deepish, uh, number two. Uh, when Reese Jones came in and he redid the golf course, uh, he kind of left the, the original bunkering alone. He added some fingering into the bunkers to aesthetically make it look a little bit better. I can tell you this, if you hit it in a fairway bunker, there's no such thing as hitting a four iron or a hybrid out of the bunker to hit it out of the green, because the elevation in front of you is not gonna allow you to do that. The par 5 fourth is the course's signature hole. A very precise tee shot is required, and if you manage to get it in play, a set of intimidating cross bunkers are there to remind you the challenge of making a par or better has only just begun. The average person, you know, when, when they see these bunkers, they get totally intimidated, and I've seen more balls get rolled along the ground for second shots because, you know, they're trying to lift it up over the bunkers and they hit it into the ground, rolls into the bunker, and, you know, who knows what they make from that point on. But when you get to this hole, there's only one way to play it. Hit your driver, hit a six iron up to the right-hand side of the green, in the fairway, pitch it up and make four, and you'll have no problem with the hole. You know, it, it's that kind of a hole. It's a risk-reward type of thing. Uh, you know, the, the risk, though, to me, is it far exceeds the reward. The best thing about all the courses at Beth Page State Park is their totally public access, so anyone who wants to can play.
There's a Teton reservation system, but the demand at the Black is high, and New York State residents get priority. But for out-of-towners who can't book in advance, there is another option. How we work it is the first six tea times in the morning uh, are open to people who are willing to sleep in their car. I have seen it when I've left here on a Friday afternoon where 20 or 30 cars are already lined up. They tailgate out there all night long and then they go off at whenever our first tea time is, whether it's 5.30 or 6 o'clock. Uh, and then we offer one tea time per hour to those people who slept in the parking lot as well. The green fees are also a bargain for a course that is entrenched in the list of America's top 100. Non-New York State residents pay $130 during the week and $150 on the weekend. So, the camping out is worth the effort. That's one of the first golf courses I've played where you know, one part of your game you know, isn't more important than the other. At Beth Page, every part of your golf game is very important. You have to do every single one of them at a high level to be able to compete and win there. The black course in particular is, a, I'm amazed at how many people have this on their bucket list of must-play golf courses. If you want to play a terrific golf course that has hosted, you know, several championships, uh, Beth Page Black is the place to come. But don't be afraid to play the red course or the blue course as well. They're terrific venues to play golf. Not quite as difficult, but you'll have a great time here.